Bruce Lee and Chris Weidman. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He uh -huh. only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack, he just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Weidman is five years the elder. He is seven inches taller. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Weidman! Out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Roos the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got him. He's got him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He's got the full mount. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Guard. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, straight 
straight right. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. It's coming, it's blocked. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. And both guys really flowing with authority. Good spin. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. He's throwing every part of himself. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back trained. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Double leg take. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by the All American wide. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Declared the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Chris Weidman. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position which is the crown, and he'll be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.